Hey man, what's up? Oh, look at that little bit of hair food on my <laughs> on my head. I just took a shower. It is the beginning of a new day. It's a new vlog. I'm gonna try and make this one just like a home vlog because a lot of the time um, my vlogs are well my last couple of vlogs I was out and on the streets and away and all of that and blah blah blah. So this time around it's just going to be a chill with me this week kinda at home um i'm i'm literally holding you up with my other arm because <laughs> my tripod is somewhere downstairs but i'm actually on my way out because there's no power today very rare for the area that i'm in even during uh load shedding times for some reason a lot of the time it skips us where I'm in and I we barely get any power outages. So when we do get power outages, like now, a lot of the time they run for quite a long time, you'll probably find that there is a serious problem at the substation. So I'm assuming that that's being worked on and fixed right now. The power left yesterday, I think at around half past nine in the evening i was just settling into bed to read my book which i want to tell you a little bit about before i leave and the power went out so i read a little bit because i've got a like a light a lamp for books and so i read a little bit but it wasn't that long until i passed out woke up this morning still no power so at this point i'm just like mm, you know what maybe it's best to just leave the house and work from somewhere else because sitting in the house all day without any um eta on the power or you know all of that it's pointless it's pointless so before i leave i wanted to show you the frock that i'm wearing today well what i'm wearing today um i'm actually channeling my whole i'm channeling my inner painter looking kind of slouchy chilling vibe I'm a painter, but I need to go buy groceries and chill and be out on the streets kind of look. That's the look I'm channeling. So this is what I'm wearing today. I'm rocking my boyfriend jeans, my Zara Espadrille-like shoes, and a really big oversized shirt. And that's where, that's, that's, that's the whole look for today. I'm probably going to go find somewhere to sit and work. Just do a couple of things, but also read. I feel like it's such a beautiful thing that there wasn't any power today because I got to push my reading. And I think when I opened the book, I was on page 10 and now I'm on page 100 and something. So that's really, really good. I'm glad. And I'm really into getting into the book right now. Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about it. But yeah, I wanted to show you my whole outfit of the day channeling my inner alicia patient you know artistry vibe there's this is what i wanted to show you so this is one of the reasons why i love these uh minimalist bags this one is a little bit dirty but this is the color it's like a baby pink color and then this one is like a cream this is one of the reasons why i love them this one right now is carrying the book the Family Affair, A Family Affair by Sunyati, and my laptop and all of that. My eyeglasses, all of that. My AirPods are in there. And then this one is just carrying my purse, sanitizer, uh, what do you call these things? Masks as well, blah, blah, blah. So this is the one that I'll probably carry in first while I do some uh, weekly groceries. And then probably go put things back in the car and then whip out this one and then walk out with this one and find some way to sit. This is one of the reasons why I love these bags. It's a very cool, and I feel like with my look today, I mean, it's just so chic, chilled, laid back. I've got money, but I don't. I'm cool, Nyana, but I don't. I'm not. <laughs> hey, 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 when was the last time? <clears throat> Let me sanitize my hands. Because I just walked in, you know? When was the last time you saw this positioning? You know what I'm saying? When was the last time? I'm so tired. Fortunately, so it is... I wanted to... Ugh. So I wanted to take my camera along with me earlier on this morning. 
and I forgot it on the kitchen counter. I really wanted to take it with me while I was doing my rounds and my errands, but I forgot it on the kitchen counter, and here we are. It is currently half past, no, it's currently three o'clock, and I just got back into the house. I went out, got a couple of things for the house, which I will show you. It's a grocery haul. <laughs> Just a couple of things. Um, and and then I sat somewhere and I did a bit of editing. Realized that one of my... <laughs> one of my memory cards... Look at this. Look at this. Can you see that it's dented a little bit? And this is the memory card that I used to film the content that I filmed over the weekend. So, fun times. Might have to refilm all over again. Um... And that does not make me happy. I'm going to try and see if I can salvage it somehow. I don't think I can. <sighs> that sucks. Anyway, nevertheless, uh, I'm home now. I'm currently... As soon as I walked in, I said that there wasn't any power when I left. As soon as I walked in, like literally a minute after I opened my door, the power came back. It's almost like... I brought the power back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we all know that I didn't. So I'm going to take out these things, put them in the fridge, and then uh, I'm charging all my devices right now just in case there's another outage. Goodness knows because I have no idea what it is that they're doing. But I popped into Pick and Pay, and I also popped into Woolies. Uh, one thing that I definitely run out of is tissue paper. <laughs> Tissue paper was a real thing. Was a real thing. Okay, I realized this morning. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm out of tissue paper. Of course, also got my favorite bread. The ses. Oh, it's even got like new, like a new Nana design. The Sasco cranberry bread. You guys know I love that bread so much. I got some cherries. These cherries. It's quite a lot of cherries for the price. It was like forty bucks. Normally you get them for 40 bucks at half the size. So that was a good special. Uh, picked up some honey as always. And some batteries because we are currently approaching the festive season. And I think sometime next week, today is the 23rd of November. But I think sometime next week I'm going to start setting up for Christmas. However, um... Yeah, I was set up for Christmas at the beginning of December. I, I, I don't go early like most people do. I just find that really weird. Got my favorite Lay's brands, chips. Oh my God, amazing. I'm going to try and stay away from them as much as possible. I literally just got them because it's, yeah, people are slowing down for work. So I'm getting visitors and stuff now and whatever. So a lot of the time I like to entertain my visitors with snacks that includes fruits and crisps and popcorn and all of that kind of stuff. So I picked those up just so that I always have them lying around. Got some strawberries. I was at Pick and Pay. I started off at Pick and Pay first. So I Pick and Pay is always cheaper in terms of uh, fruits than Woolies is. So I saw them. They looked good. So I picked them up. Uh, <clears throat> got the strawberries here. Got the blueberries uh, got myself a yogi sip because, I mean, nostalgia moments. Um, biscuits for guests. These are some of my favorite. I always get my favorite, even for guests. It's so weird. Got coffee, instant coffee. I like the Nescafe coffee. You guys know this. If I'm not having the Nespresso, I'm having the Nescafe one. Um, got some girly bits because Valerie is in town. And I'm feeling a little bit meh right now. I do have period pains. I just ate, so I'm going to drink some pain tablets right now. Got some grapes as well. Normally, a lot of the time, when uh, two weekends ago, I had friends over. And um, I made them sort of like a board of fruits where I had like melon slices, grapes, strawberries, blueberries, uh, cheese bits as well. It was like a fruit platter, but with cheese and um, 
cracker bread and all of that, snacker bread and all of that. So it was, it was quite nice. Crackers, uh, white cheddar. It's my favorite cheese, like as an everyday cheese. Uh, but my number one bougie cheese is brie cheese. I like brie cheese and edam cheese. So good. So, so good. So that's what I got from Pick and Pay. And then I made the mistake of forgetting my plastic bags from Woolies again. And I realized that Woolies doesn't sell plastic bags anymore. So I forgot to pick up these bags before I left. So... It is what it is. Got four packs of these because, as always, every single day, I always make a green smoothie as a way of getting greens in my system. Because I tend to get a little bit lazy with dinner time, I'll just be like, oh, I just feel like having rice um, and meat. Or I just feel like having rice or meat and, I don't know tomato slices or something like that so as a way to get my green intake for the day i always make a green smoothie every single day of which i'll make one probably say about an hour from now so i got four packs of these which normally get me through the week and then of course this is what i make my smoothies with i got two of these we are uh, yes i always make it with um just a bunch of spinach this as a liquid so maybe about that much of of this as a liquid and then maybe two scoops of plain yogurt and that's how i have my smoothie every single day um uh, it's not this doesn't have sugar it is cold pressed so uh freshly squeezed so i often have to have both of them by the end of the week because then uh starts swelling up and you can't drink it anymore because it's bad it's off it doesn't last that long um and then plain yogurt this is what i add to my smoothies sometimes i just want a yogurt and fruit bowl during the day instead of having the smoothie whatever i got some baby carrots because i haven't had baby carrots in quite a while so i had these because these are great because you can just take one out just and then eat it like that as it is uh got some shelled edamame i really really enjoy these i enjoy just um sauteing them pan frying them for like two three minutes adding a little bit of seasoning and then i add that to my meal which probably has like rice and uh protein sauce and whatever and then i just add these on the on top of that and then also something that I haven't had in a while are these uh, sweet corn mini cobs. Really, really enjoy those. Again, I normally just steam these and that's all you need. They're nice and sweet and you can have that. I just steam them and then I keep them in the fridge for the rest of the week and I keep yanking one out every time I have dinner or yanking two out. Maybe it can be just meat and two pieces of sweet corn. And then lastly, aside from water, I picked up some water as well. Uh, lastly, I got the low-fat cottage cheese with uh, chives. And I really, really enjoy this one, especially on cracker bread or provita bread. I just spread it on there and I have it if I feel like having quite a light breakfast. That's what I'll typically do. Oh, and if you watch, <laughs> if you watch my snaps, if you watch my snaps, you'll know that I can't, uh, well, if you watch my snaps on Instagram, you'll know that I've been on antibiotics um, because of, I'll actually sit down and tell you why I'm on antibiotics, but I couldn't drink for five days and my last day is today. So tomorrow, it's me and her. It's me and this girl right here. Me and Guess this is gonna get me through the festive, so 
Hey, <laughs> I'm gonna have my yogi sip right now. It's been a minute since I tasted this, so I really hope it brings back all those memories, you know? Just a little taste. And apricot was always my favorite flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm, mm. Doesn't quite taste as good as it did when I was younger, but it was really, really good. This, this is nostalgia. This is what I used to carry in my scuff tin, you know, on my way to school and stuff. My mother would put that in my lunch box. In my lunch box, you know, this was my version of a juice box. <laughs> Not all the time. Um, but I'm sitting down here because I want to discuss with you this book. Uh, not all of it, and I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm literally maybe... A th no. Maybe a quarter of the way in. It has... This is... This is A Family Affair by Su Nyati. I believe this book has literally done, done the rounds in uh, social media. Uh, man, people are talking about this book. Duh, ho, ho. And I'm seeing it a lot on my social media as somebody who reads and stuff. And I follow, um, you know, content creators that read as well. Uh, local content creators that read as well. So this book... Yeah, especially on Twitter as well. I see people talking about it quite a bit. This is our Brown Skin Reads book of the month. And I I got into this book quite late because I just haven't had the time to read. And every time I would go to bed, I'd be really, really tired and I can't read. I'm too tired to read because then I won't concentrate on focus, really. Um, I'll probably just pass out, so I opted not to read. But, so I'm a week away from uh, having the full month final book review. And I need to finish this, at least for me, I need to finish it at least in the next couple of days. So that I can think about it, mellow over it, uh, and then yeah get ready and prepare my notes and all of that for the book club uh book review online virtual right so anyway it's a really really so far it's quite enjoyable it was a little bit hard for me to get into it that's why i literally read the first 10 pages and i put it down for two weeks after that um but not because of the book per se, just because of just time and not having time to read. Nevertheless, it's a book about a family. Um, it follows the life of sisters and I am big. I am big on the sister trope, okay? I love, love reading novels about sisters because I am also a sister to two other sisters, to two girls, to two girls and three boys and um but in this sense it follows the life of three sisters um Oliswa, Zandile and Yandisa if I'm not mistaken and uh these are young women that live in Zim it is around the time span time period of 2001 or 2002 somewhere there and it essentially follows their life their relationships uh, what's happening in their relationships. It's like a drama book, basically. But I'm 117 pages in at this point, and there's quite a few things that have already happened, uh, things that have me, like, I love that it addresses just um, family dynamics, um, you know, how parents treat different kids um how parents treat each each kid differently based on whatever they've either achieved or haven't achieved um you know relationship dynamics between parents and kids and their kids and of course relationship dynamics between you know the sisters and their partners their lovers and all of that um and so far it's really really good it also um addresses you know i've i've picked up on um it addresses abuse as well. It addresses heartbreak. It addresses just um, judgments from family, you know, 
um, marriage is 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 a topic that stood out for me here, and um, you know, marriage or lack thereof, or, or not being married at a certain age, and you know how uh, family members treat you differently because of that. It was that little bit had me like this because I can relate. I can relate. Um, so currently right now I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm probably going to read for the rest of the afternoon because I'm really not keen on, um, you know, watching TV or relaxing or anything like that. And it is much later on in the day. So typically by this time, I'm not really doing anything. I'm not, um, if I'm not busy, if I'm not at work or anything like that, I'm not, you know, creating content or uh, recording or whatever. I'm normally just relaxing at this time of the day. So I think I'm gonna pretty much set up in this room, uh, sit on the couch there and probably read for the next, what time is it? It's four o'clock. So probably for the next two hours, try and read and dent this book a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Let me get some reading done. Okay. everybody good morning as you can see I was preparing my breakfast made myself some coffee put in a teaspoon of this which is uh, raw honey this is the um, the honey that I use for my coffee whereas it's a different type of honey that I use for um, you know if I want to drizzle on some honey on top of a certain meal or something like this because this is a much more thicker consistency but I've made my breakfast. I always try to add uh, fruits to the plate, just in case you're wondering what what's with all the fruits. <laughs> I was trying to add the fruits to the plate because um, I try to get fruits in as well. So before I get shouted at for not doing a taste test, I didn't feel like egg, but I felt like toast and avocado. So I decided to add bacon bits, diced bacon on there and some shredded uh, white cheddar cheese so before I get 
you know, grilled. Like, oh, you don't taste your food anymore. And just like, ah, just, just food, you know. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Kind of have to wait for the saltiness of the bacon to mix with the butteriness, like fattiness of the avocado. Oh man, it's so good. I didn't feel like having an egg. And then the crunch of the toast, which just makes everything extra crunchy. It's delicious. I just didn't feel like having an egg. I just thought, oh, the admin. Even though really making the bacon was also an admin, but it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Mm hey, hey, hey. It's much later on. I'm in the kitchen. I'm just gonna fry up, saute some pork chops. Um, I'm not really that hungry, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna make the pork chops, then maybe saute some edamame beans. And I don't know, maybe maybe do some corn as well. I don't know. I really don't feel hungry, but I know that I'll be angry with myself if I don't make anything and then come like six o'clock or half six, I'm like, hmm, what am I gonna eat? Um, so yeah, rather that, that rather this than uh, being hungry and not knowing what to eat. So I've already seasoned the pork chops with a little bit of um, spice and uh, what is this? Salt and pepper. I'm just gonna whoa, 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 whoa. too high, too high. Can you hear that sizzle though? So for a salad, for a salad, I wanted to do my nectarine salsas, like a mango salsa, but. Uh, I, there weren't any mangoes, so I actually do it with nectarines because they also get really sweet. But I realized that I don't have any coriander, which then it doesn't quite work as a salsa if there's no coriander, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I just want like a, a little side salad that will go with, um, a side salad that will go with the meat. So what I've decided to do is because <laughs> because my beans were off, I'm thinking I'm going to make a little makeshift salad and it will require half an avocado. This I'm, I'm literally winging this. Half an avocado, this, a nectarine, and then I'm going to use some of the corn that we prepared. I'm going to use some of this and... I need a container. Mix everything into this container here, and then I'm gonna chill the salad in the fridge for about half an hour or so before I eat, and then I'll just have this with a piece of meat. Because clearly what's, what's become really obvious is the fact that I need to go to the shops very soon. So what I'm gonna do is just, this avocado is also quite ripe as well, so I'm gonna dice it up, as you can see, the way I'm chopping it up, quite ripe on the inside, but it's not, it's neither in here nor there. I'm not going to throw it out because of that. Um, so dice it up, there's the avocado in there, and then the nectarine should also cut up. Um, I'm not quite sure where the line is. Come on, there we go. So I'm just going to move this, chop this up. Makeshift salads, guys. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to take the corn and cut it up on the sides like so. This adds another element of sweetness. I'm just going to throw it in there. So the salad looks a little bit yellow, too yellow for my liking if you ask me. So because the salad is a little bit too yellow for me, I'm going to add some strawberries to it. Make it a nice summer salad really. Alright, 
So this is how we look now. A little bit more vibrant. I really, really like how it looks now. Um, yeah, the pepper tastes great. So that's good. Then one last touch is Yeah, baby. Yes. Yeah, a little bit of lemon juice. So we're going to have a quick taste. Going to have a quick taste and see how it is. But I'm pretty sure it'll be better when it's really cold. So I'm going to chill it in the freezer for a little bit before I eat supper. Just want to make sure I've got a little bit of everything in here. Get a green pepper in there. Okay. Mm. It works, man. Mmm. It really works because you get the sweetness from the strawberry, sweetness from nectarine, and then you get that creaminess, that butteriness from the avocado. You know how avocado makes things creamy? And then you get the crunch of the, the green pepper, and also it's not as sweet, so... It's it's really just a nice mix and then of course the um, let me show you guys look at this look at this it's really really a nice mix and then of course the lemon juice and the pepper gives it that nice tanginess the lemon juice gives it a tanginess gives it a flavor absolutely love it so so good so what I'm gonna do now is cover it up in cling wrap before I put it in the fridge. the meat a little bit of the salad mm -hmm. mm. how do I not stay winning with the food that I make I mean <laughs> I mean what do you even mean it's sweet it's tangy it's delicious it's creamy from the avo mmm mmm Incredible. Oh wow. Mm. 